It's time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of life in France with Florence Villeneuve. Hello. Hi, Flo. Now, this week, we're going to focus on one of the most popular cultural events in Paris. It's a yearly farming event called the Salon de l'Agriculture. It's actually nicknamed France's biggest farm, and it's been around since 1964. And it is a huge deal here in France. So over a nine-day period, 4,000 farm animals make their way to the French capital. We are talking about France's finest cows, pigs, roosters, sheep, horses, you name it, they're here on display. Uh, and there are all sorts of competitions and prizes that are given out at the Salon de l'Agriculture. Chief amongst them is the general competition for animals. It's kind of like the animal version of Miss France. And the farming fair is a huge hit here in Paris. About 600,000 people go to it every year to admire all kinds of different French agriculture. And you really get the impression that it's two worlds colliding. It's kind of city meets country. Now, for farmers, it's an opportunity to share their passion for their profession and also talk about the struggles that they face in uh, their jobs. And for little Parisians, it's actually the opportunity to discover for farm life, what it's all about, get up close and personal uh, with the animals, because that's what's great about the Salon de l'Agriculture. It's kind of like a giant petting zoo <laughs> in the heart of Paris. It's a favorite for little people and big people, too. Oh, oh, careful. Oh, how cute. You see those big round things hanging? That means it's a man, a bull. They've already been to the zoo, but farm animals, it's a first. That's why they're so impressed. I saw pigs and cows. They're beautiful. It was cool. I've never left Paris. This is an opportunity for me. It's kind of like leaving the capital. I admire farmers. They never stop working. People often criticize our profession and that hurts. What's nice about this fair is that people are interested in our jobs. It's my first time in Paris. It's big. It's very impressive. Now, on top of being a major farming fair, the Salon de l'Agriculture is also a major food fair. In fact, you can taste all the best things that France's 13 regions and overseas territories have to offer. It's kind of like a tour de France for your taste buds. It's a great way to taste new things, especially with all the industrial food around. It's kind of like traveling. I get to taste things I don't eat every day. This is really good. And in addition to all the things to eat, all of the farm animals, you also have political animals. The Salon d'Agriculture is a real must for politicians from all sides. It certainly is, and it's an annual ritual. Politicians really don't want to miss this opportunity to be seen cozying up to farmers. And chief amongst them is the president, Emmanuel Macron, who is eager to break away from his reputation of being a city boy. Now, during the 2019 edition, he actually broke his own record. He spent 14 and a half hours at the fair. And he didn't go home empty-handed. You can see it there. Uh, he was given a baby goat named Désiré, who will join Agathe and Marianne at the Elysée Palace. These are two chickens uh, he received last year. Now, that political charm offensive doesn't always go so well, and that leads us to our expression du jour. It is amour vache, uh, which is quite literally cow love. It's an expression for a love affair where both partners are verbally and physically aggressive with you, each other, kind of brutal love, -ish, if you will. And, and nobody knows this better than the former president, Nicolas Sarkozy. He was seen as being kind of a bling-bling president, not really in his element at the Salon de l'Agriculture. And he had some kind of unfortunate encounters there, including in 2008. So this was his first visit as president to the Salon, uh, and it went down as one of the most memorable moments moments of his presidency. Yeah, some strong language there from the former French president, Nicolas Sarkozy, who didn't have much luck, to be fair, because his predecessor, President Jacques Chirac, was very popular with French farmers. French farmers pretty much worshipped the ground that Jacques Chirac walked on, and not only because he was a former agricultural minister, but also he was really in charge of fighting for uh, French farmers in the face of the uh, EU and the common agricultural policy. And this means that he was a Salon superstar. He would spend hours there working the crowd and soaking up the love. <laughs> C'est un 
rendez-vous extrêmement important pour vous Absolument, c'est celui du cœur. Elle est à vous Despite those public displays of affection for French farmers, the French farming industry is actually in the middle of a major crisis. There's a major malaise within the French uh, agricultural world, and in fact, the number of French farmers has plummeted since the 1960s. And despite help from the state and from the European Union, a growing number of farmers are struggling to survive, and quite literally. In fact, a couple of years ago, a shocking statistic came out, and that is the suicide rate amongst French farmers, and essentially, a farmer commits suicide side once every two days in France. Take a listen. This is where I found myself with a rope in my hands. I was ready to throw it over a beam. I felt sentenced to death. The financial situation was like a noose tightening. It was terrible. I had no future. And what's so paradoxical here is that agriculture really holds a dear place in the heart of French people. There's even a popular reality TV show called L'Amour est dans le Pré, which is about matchmaking between French farmers. There really is this romantic myth surrounding the French farmer, a nostalgia from a time when people worked the land and were close to nature. And perhaps that's why the Salon de l'Agriculture is so popular. People are trying to reconnect uh, with their roots and channel that myth, uh, a myth that is, unfortunately, a stark contrast with the reality of French farming today. Flo, thank you so much for that look at farming here in France and the Salon de l'Agriculture. Don't forget, if you have questions for Flo about anything concerning France or the French, you can always send her a tweet at Flo Villeneuve.